So this is going to be the last of the YouTube videos, um, the longer YouTube videos of uh, this series or this week. Um, I had to, I, I said in the previous two Instagram videos uh, that I do feel better today. Again, I can't tell you the reason why. No idea. Nothing's changed. No, the um, I've done nothing different apart from going to the job centre. But I was that certainly didn't cheer me up uh, or make me feel better. So yeah, I do feel better, and I know the certain th things that I've got to do. I certainly feel better than I did like three weeks ago when I had COVID again and uh, was really unwell. I just, you just, uh, I, I just didn't realise how it creep, crept up on me and like when I was out and I just couldn't stop sweating and I was thinking, was, what was it? What, why is it so, I was, and I thought, oh, it's because the, the air conditioning or something was off in, in, in town when I was in Newcastle. And I just was sweating, and then it, obviously after a few days, I realised that it wasn't to do that I was. It had actually, you know, it was me that I actually had COVID. So, but as I say, I'm I'm certainly feeling better from that now. It's taken just three and a half weeks since I had it, so and the real nasty part of it. And last time it took about five or six weeks. It was awful. It was just terrible. But thank goodness this, t you know, it's. Not taking as long to to get better. I, th I really didn't realise how much it affected my mood, um, because I was so down, and I just obviously with having depression and anxiety, you you, you know there's levels that you got to, but obviously with, with having this COVID as well, and I didn't realise how much it really did affect me. It really did, um, but I can see myself coming out of this sort of awful, awful dip in mood. It's just been really nasty. And then it's lasted, uh, you know, two or three weeks, maybe more. Uh, really nasty sort of uh, depressive uh, mood. I'd love to know why you know, you, you somehow you come out of it. I just don't, obviously it's the physiological, you know, biological sort of things that are happening within the body. Just to, you know, your mood then just seems to stabilize. Uh, I mean, I'm not. It's not like it's bipolar. It's not like I'm going up to to mania and then coming back down again. It's nothing like that. It's just purely. It goes along. It dips. And then it comes back out again. Sometimes it takes it. But I get frustrated with myself because I think that, um, you know, I want it out of it now. I want, it, I want, I want the, uh, to snap out of it, you know, which is, it's an awful thing. You, you have to be patient because if you don't, you end up, uh, like I said, becoming very, very frustrated with life. Um, and again, and this, and this has happened hundreds of times over the last 25 years, that, you know, you do realise you do you will eventually come out of it. It's, it's an awful, awful thing to have depression. It really is a terrible thing. Because you, when you uh, go into this depressive mood, you then feel guilty because you're feeling it. I know that it sounds ridiculous. You feel guilty that you, you're feeling so low, and then, oh, there's all sorts of different mixed emotions, but... Uh, Appetite's still not quite as what it should be. Yesterday I didn't eat anything till about eight o'clock. I feel okay today, but as I say, it's not, I mean, it's not as if I'm, you know, gonna waste away, but. Uh, so yeah, this'll be the last uh, I'll post for this uh, sort of section of this last week. Um, I'm glad I did it. I really am. I'm glad that that I sat down and just chatted. And people, as I said, people have been very, very kind and very uh, thoughtful and very um, 
lovely in their in their messages and and uh, supporting me and and it's been it's been very very helpful and I think that's one of the things I think really that you know we, we all really should try and talk to each other and and, and try and um, work things out and especially blokes you know that we are as I said before and we are the worst uh, at, um, at uh, asking for help or talking about things because it's not seen you if you you know seemingly that you are a weak person if you you know showing your emotions which is all bullshit as i say you once we get past that when you're in your teenage 20s you know you realize that trying to look hard and hard in front of your friends it's all crap it really is so anyway but thank you again for the support thank you again for the uh, the encouragement and the, the messages that i have received um, and then I don't know what uh, you know. People said continue the the YouTube stuff. I don't I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. I'll have a think about it over the next few days. Um, see what I want out of this, um, and see you know if I can do something different or I don't know. I haven't really thought it through. But uh, thank you again. Thanks. <laughs>